Let's convert 4.83 centimeters to nanometers. Most of us don't know how many centimeters are in a nanometer or how many nanometers are in a centimeter, but that's okay. What we should know is that one centimeter is one times 10 to the negative second meters because we're supposed to know that that prefix centa means hundredth, which is 10 to the negative second. Similarly, we talked in an earlier lesson how nano is to the power negative nine. Nano negative nine. So you can see that the one is the same. There's a one on the left, there's a one on the right. There's the unit meters on the left. There's the unit meters on the right. The prefix nano has been thrown out and its meaning, 10 to the negative ninth, has been put in. This is a very powerful tool. I wish someone had showed me this when I was in high school. So here's what we do. We write down the quantity that's given and we're going to put a conversion factor there. Now this unit centimeters has to be canceled. So we know that centimeters has to go down and to the right in this conversion factor. So that conversion is going to go there with the one centimeter on the bottom and the one times ten to the negative second meters on top. Centimeters then will cancel. This centimeter here is essentially in the numerator which is why we have to put this centimeter in the denominator. Now, we're not done yet because we want for our answer nanometers. And if we do this computation, we'll only have meters. So, we're going to tack another conversion on there. And we're going to use the equivalency between nanometers and meters. And here you can see that we now need to cancel meters. So down here in the lower right, we must have the unit meters, which means up here in the upper right, we're going to have the unit nanometers. One nanometer is one times 10 to the negative ninth meters. The meter units cancel. When we type this in, everything has canceled except the unit nanometers. We type that properly into our calculator, we get a number like that. If you want to put it in scientific notation, that would be fine too. Remember, whenever we do a conversion, however many significant figures we start with, in this case three, that's how many we need in our answer, which is what we have here. In physics, we often are doing calculations related to speed or velocity. So if a speed is given in kilometers per hour and we need to convert it into meters per second, we need to know how to do that. So, first of all, we need to say, okay, well, one kilometer, I know, is 1,000 meters. Notice we've done the same thing here that we did on the previous slide. The prefix kilo means 10 to the third. So, the ones are the same. The meter unit is the same. We've thrown out the prefix, and we've put in the power of 10 that's appropriate. And of course, one hour is 3,600 seconds, not 60 seconds. 60 seconds would be one minute. So be careful when you're converting between seconds and hours that an hour is 3,600 seconds. We write down the quantity that we are given. Let's put a conversion factor in there. Let's convert the kilometers into meters first. One kilometer in the denominator and I know that it has to go there so that it cancels the kilometers in the numerator that we had to begin with. Now if we type this into our calculator, the unit on our answer will be meters per hour. But we don't want meters per hour, we want meters per second. So we need to put another conversion that involves hours and seconds over here. Now. To figure out which of these two quantities goes where, we need to look at what was given. See how ours is in the denominator, which means to cancel it, 
I need to put hours in the numerator up here. Like that. The hour units can be crossed off. One in the numerator, one in the denominator. Now you type this in, the unit on our answer will be meters per second. And we need to make sure that we round it to three significant figures because that's how many significant figures we started with. If you want to write it in scientific notation, that's okay too.